those who are preparing for any competitive exam they must be aware of the term accuracy there are two factors speed and accuracy for in any exam whether it's competitive exam or in your university examination or board examination any exam so there is a trade off between these two factors speed and accuracy sometimes if you go behind speed then you will lose accuracy and if you go behind accuracy then your speed would be slow why to attempt the question paper so you have to balance these two factors speed as well as accuracy while you are attempting any exam especially any competitive exam so today in this video i'm going to discuss some tips to improve your accuracy for gate exam gate 2021 because accuracy is very important when it comes to gate examination but before that just want to tell you one thing an academy is back with an exciting series for isro aspirants named isro revise india series there you can join free special classes you can build your concepts and then you can take all india isro mock test for free which is going to be held on 22nd november and if you take the live test then all india ranking would be provided to you and you can win exciting prizes and some rewards all the details of these prizes and rewards you can see here but it's okay if you you can't attend the live test you can also write the test after the live test is over and this test is having 80 technical questions and the time limit would be 90 minutes so it is basically to test your technical knowledge these tests have been curated and reviewed by the most experienced educators at an academy and all the tests would be in english plus one more thing after the live test is over there would be paper analysis by the top educators at an academy in free classes and what is the benefit of this paper analysis you will come to know your weak points you will come to know your area of improvement that would be very beneficial for you so if you are interested you can enroll here the enrollment link and all the details i'll give you in the description box of this video as well as the link of all the free classes also i'll provide in the description box you can go and check out there so now let us discuss some tips to improve your accuracy in gate examination see why accuracy is so important in gate examination because the pattern has been changed i guess everybody is aware about, aware about that mcq question would be there objective question plus nat question would be there numerical type of question there you need to calculate you need to do all the computations and you will have to write your answer for nat question there would be no option right you are supposed to write your answer so these are calculation type of uh, you know questions and there are may, there are chances of calculation error in these type of question nat type of question so specifically you know accuracy is required for these questions yeah it is required for every type of question whether it's mcqs or any question but specifically for nat question accuracy is very important because if do you do silly mistakes in calculation like maybe sometimes you do 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 so because of that only you will lose marks so in that terms in calculation in compu computation you need to require accuracy speed is also required in gate examination but suppose if you have started your preparation just started your preparation at that time you must focus on accuracy more rather than speed because when you do practice then automatically speed will come right speed will increase so first when you start preparation at that time you must focus on accuracy while attempting the questions and then automatically uh, with practice your speed will increase so first thing is what with practice accuracy would, would also increase so very first thing is you need to do a lot of practice but practice like you are sitting in the gate exam like you have to create a exam type environment and then you have to do a lot of practice yeah it's fine if you have started just started the preparation like you have 6 months 7 months 1 year or 5 months at that time you can solve mcqs you can practice you can solve any type of question without setting a timer or without any deadline without creating that exam type environment but in december and january it is very important while you do practice while you are maybe solving any mock test or anything you are taking any mock test that should be it's like you are taking you are sitting in that proper gate examination so how you can do practice like this you can join any test series i guess this thing is very important see in my opinion 
you can crack gate examination if you do not join any test series but if you are above average student then you can just qualify gate exam you know you will not get good marks you will not get good rank but if you join any test series definitely you are going to get some good rank maybe within 50 students within 100 or within 10 all india rankers right so i guess to get a good rank it is very important jo to join a any test series from any you know uh, good institute reputed institute and it is enough to join one test series because it's not that you just have to join test series and take the test only you have to analyze you have to analyze your mistakes so in one test series i guess 60 to 70 tests are there so if you will take daily one test then almost two months would be required for this right so very first is what you have to practice see the more you practice the more you will get better at that thing just you can take a simple example if you have started making chapatis then it's starting it is not possible to make round chapatis but maybe after five days 10 days or 15 days definitely you will be able to make round chapatis that is my personal experience actually but here the thing is see if you practice then you will get familiar with that type of environment where you know that environment you are facing at the time of exam and while uh, taking the test series while you are you know taking the test then maybe you can face a different type of situation like a difficult type of question tricky question so rather than facing that situation directly in gate exam you know it's better to face these kind of situation before that so that you will be habitual of that thing and you will you know uh, you know how to respond when this type of situation come you will be getting less nervous because of that thing at the time of gate examination right maybe when you are taking the test series then you can if you are not able to solve any question then you can analyze your mistakes why you was not able to solve that question you can again revise your concept you, you will also come to know this type of question can be asked so you will be prepared for all the things and definitely when you attempt the test series first time then you will do some silly mistakes so with the practice more you practice the silly mistakes would be reduced definitely it for your gate examination and if your accuracy is good then you don't need to you know check the, those NAT question twice because those NAT questions require a lot of computation and if you are good at accuracy if you are good at calculation then no need to check again but if you are not good then maybe you have to check two times or three times and definitely what you will lose the time and what you will going to attempt less question than you have expected third thing you can do what solve questions while you are practicing at that time solve question without looking at the answers without looking at the options and after completely solving the questions like when you have got the answer then you see the options but it is just while you are practicing it is not when you are attempting actual gate examination at that time you need to solve any question by looking at the answers the options given because sometimes uh, it is also possible that without solving the complete question you will get answer just by looking at those options those things also will discuss in some separate video see please do not follow this step while you are attempting your gate examination this step is only when you are preparing for your gate examination and one more thing is see suppose if you have this type of question like in which you have decimal values two or three decimal values and by using those values you need to compute the answer something like this so and you have to round off those decimal values so please round off all the decimal values till you know same decimal point like suppose if you are rounding off till three decimal points then all the values would be rounded off till three decimal points it's not like that for one you are rounded off till two decimal points for second you are rounded off three decimal points and for third uh, till four decimal point no if you do so then maybe you get different answer from the actual answer and you will think that my answer is correct next is always notice the unit in which answer has been asked this is the silly mistake many students do you have solved the question correctly but because of that unit maybe they are asking the unit the answer in centimeter and your answer is in millimeter and you forgot to convert it right so this is just a silly mistake 
and if you do so in exam it is definitely going to hurt you badly so you have to take care of this thing and all these things will come with practice so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care